I don't want to be the hero of justice here. The calico that was handed over to Saigusa seems to feel safe enough to curl up against her. As if in a mother cat like embrace. I had to admit it, but the credit for saving this kitten does go to Archer. No shit, it does. Oh my god. Fucking disappear in the wind already. <laughs> Don't fucking call me that. Poor buddy. No, he wishes he didn't save the cat. それは<笑> I don't think they have quite a hero of justice boner as Shiro does. Don't worry about it. What? God damn it. Do you listen? この語人は正義の味方という正反対のものから見れば敵にしかならないやり方をだな。何言ってんのさ、正義の味方はいいじゃん。かっこいいよ。みんなの憧れだよ。何より分かりやすいのが最高。Yeah, until he doesn't save everyone and then it's Oh my god, this guy's such a fucking dick. 分かりやすいのは呼び名だけだ。その中身は自己矛盾の塊だぞ。正義の味方なぞ人間の社会に適合できなかったものが憧れる本当に正しいものがあるとすればそれは正義の味方など必要としない社会でありその中で悪があるとすればそれは魔魔ならない世を嘆いて正義の味方を渴望するまあなんだ
Strange man in a black shirt and pants. Another fucking point. Right? I'm sure, I'm sure. この子を助けられた。お前にあれこれ言う権利はない。ジーザス。ヒーワンツ、ヒーワンツ、ドゥ。ま、ギレもなく猫は、お前に懐いているとみた。Just so and on that sad note, Archer walks away, leaving the rest of us to indulge in this deep emotion. Did you listen to anything? Archer has left. There are more than a few things I'd like to say, but in the end, I couldn't, can't do it in front of the guy that saved the kitten. I fall on my knees in despair. The sense of defeat weighs heavily on my back. Nah, that's just Makidera. Wouldn't have done anything. No. <laughs> Go ahead, rub it in. She rubs at the round pupils looking at me. I oh, had to be pitied even by a kitten. Damn it, if only I was stronger. Taller. You are short. <laughs> One refreshing morning, I find myself walking leisurely along the mountain trail, with sunlight spilling out uh, uh, through the grove of trees and a slight nip in the mountain air. Everything's in magnificent harmony. Truly a perfect day for a peaceful walk through the woods, and one or two out-of-character songs to be whistled on the way. And then, disrupting the ideal harmony of the scene, I find something strange standing in the middle of the wo this wooded path. Oh, this the mountain road leads to the back of the temple, and the high ground looking out over the outskirts of the city. She didn't just come straight from the castle, did she? She walks up to me leisurely. It may sound rather blunt, but her manner somehow remind me of a baby duckling. Especially this unconditional emotional attachment I sense from her. Yeah, うん。私、お寺に来るのは初めて。シロは良く来る。うーん。まあ、よく来てる方かな。友達がいるんで、寺向きの用がなくても遊びに来るし。リズは初めてって言ったけど、何か用があったのか用はないけど、この辺りで良
Hoshi. What? Again, she skips a line, uh, if not a whole paragraph. We're now at the top floor, standing at the very edge of the communication cliff. Ah, to. Sono. Motteru no. Soko de mitsuketa kara. Iria no tekika to motte sagasta kedo. Iria no nioi mosuru. Hushigi. Here, she stretches out her hand. Ah, domo. Without thinking, I take the object. Huh? Some kind of picture card, I guess. Ended up uh, getting something like a tarot card made out of a piece of cloth, it seems. It's got to be a highly valuable archaeological artifact. I'm not sure about the over 200 years part, but let's have a let's look at it. Well, this is fate we are doing. I don't know if this is something like one should be that happy about, given the circumstances, but sure. That took me by surprise. Because she has a limited range of emotions, a statement like that from Liz has serious destructive power. Sure. Back the way she came. Now she just goes straight into the woods. I don't want to think about it, but... It does look like she just walked all the way from the castle. Yes. I always am. Just kidding. No trace of joy in her laugh. She disappears into the woods. I stared at the mysterious card. Well, it's got to be useful for, some, for something, right? And anyhow, I'm sure an even worse disaster will come if I just throw it away, out. For now, I'll just slip into my back pocket and try to forget about it. Great. Object obtained an old picture card. Cannot decipher the meaning in current state. Search for one who can, as you see fit. Yeah, I'll get to it eventually. Probably. Oh my god. So many nothings. Except everyone's here on one day. Christ. I guess you. Looks like I'll have to bear an extra, extra load of tissue and, to tissue and toilet paper. Well, not that heavy, it still means only one free hand. And I have the spoils of war from the last grocery. And mead store raids on top of that too. <laughs> The large-scale shopping rider is the best bad. The problem is all the glances she gets while carrying a mountain load of groceries. Oh, so, uh, good sometimes. Those will be pretty heavy, and I wouldn't mind having a backpack. You know you can make more than one trip. As I contemplate about the touch of post-war reconstruction periods in the process. Oh, and an odd person in an odd place. Imuro Kane. Third class, class A. Madame Himuro, as they call her. Running high jump ace of the track and field club and one heck of a eccentric student. That's the girl that has her eyes fixed on me right now. Yeah. She nods to herself. Himuro, not a single ordinary thing about her, yet still somehow normal, is the odd description I got from Tosaka. That's pretty accurate, though. What's that? Himuro's revelation does, does come a little too late. 
Note that it's incorrect, but I have a feeling that a rumor like this has more than a little effect on a guy's reputation. Emura, Saigusa, Makadera together make up the track and field gang. The ringleader I may have a problem with, but her friend Saigusa is a genuinely good girl. Yeah, I get that a lot. Nanikato the three of us are always there, increasing to as many as six at a time. Unlike the good old days, a systematic approach to shopping is now necessary. There's quite a bit. To protect their honor, the culprit's name shall not be revealed. A fuck ton. We also need some some for lunch boxes, so seven is about right. You know, with six people, you'll need at least that much. Wait, what's with that pitiful look? Might as well be. We could still take more, though, honestly. In the past, without Fuji or Kiritsugu around, I used to eat and cook all alone. I'll take the hustle and bustle over these plain weary, uh, those plain weary times any day. The Himuro mo kai mono ka? Ryori suru no? Hmm. Dochira kara saki ni kotae leba i? じゃあ、料理の方から。できないことはないが、得意ではない。悲しいかな。腕は巻きでらにも負ける。That's sad. Turns out that Homomura's wild beast will on, well on, on on her way to becoming well on her way to becoming Fuji number two has been hiding that side of her all along. Well it's not like it affects me in any way. それは私が散歩することかそれともエミアと遭遇することか。She retorts not missing a beat. Having a zero seek time, having a zero seek time to her thoughts is very much himuro like. 両方だよ。こうしてピンで出くわすのも天気がいいから散歩っていうのもヒムロのイメージじゃなかった。だろうな。私自身、目的なしでマンションから出るのは珍しい。たまにはそういう目的がないのが目的という気分になったのだろう。She starts walking nonchalantly. I'm still not done with my shopping, but I end up following her anyway. いいのか、エミア。何が買い物の途中だろう。そのような重い荷物を抱えて暇をしている私を追いかけて良いのかということだ。is she really concerned, or is it just her co her way of coldly telling me off? Same kind of coldness verging on hypocritical courtesy that Tosaka used to have, or not. Himuro's curt mannerism may well be her natural personality. She glances at a swing just ahead of us. No one's using it, just, just an empty seat swaying in the wind. Nah. 
Shiro, calm down. She says to me in a displeased tone, lowering her voice, calm the fuck down. Good lord. Could that have been a Homero style joke just now? Stop overreacting to this. Holy fuck. She's just asking to talk. It's not like she asked you to take her to your room. Yeah, it's really romantic. She promptly walks away from the swing. Wait a moment. Could it be that she w said she had just now she wasn't a ad was an actual joke? I straighten up my back. Having unknowingly made fun of her once already, it's the least I can do. ご清聴感謝する。と言っても大した話ではないのだ。単にこんな気まぐれを起こす自分は一体どうしてしまったのだろうという。なんというか私は本当に昨日までの私だったのか。Existential issues. She says something very interesting. There were people who doubted this situation, but feeling uncertain about their yesterday self is nothing, something new. ことばには目が覚めたら芋虫になってるってやつかな。そこまでセンシティブでもないつもりだが、それに目には見えないが言葉にはできる。私は何が違和感になっているのか。Now that's a surprise. An uneasy feeling tends to be uneasy exactly because it's unknown. Yet according to her, she actually can tell exactly what it is wrong. それはその実に言いづらいのだが、なあエミヤ、私たちは今までこんなに気安く話せていただろうか。Yes。それこそこれではほらなんだ。Rather like a pair of lovers. No. Madam Himuro murmurs quietly. No, not even in the slightest. <laughs> In the blink of an eye, all my mental tension, tension collapsed. It's a bit unpolite of, to the girl in front of me, but her girl-like strength is beyond just surprising. It's downright admirable. Humura, <laughs> <laughs> you're awesome. I'd like you to have a round of an applause. もういい。君に話をした私が愚かだった。エミヤ、君は私のことなど早々に忘れ、君の養い口たちの買い物を続けるといい。I've no intention of stopping her. Her vigor arriving Makidera as she runs towards the park entrance. I mean walks. それではごきげんよう。今回の件で私は楓につくことにした。今後は敵が二人に増えたと思うといい。悪かった。悪かったってば。ちょっと待てよ、ヒムロ。複数本に帰らず。さらばだエミヤ。ウォッシュ、there she goes. Sound quite intriguing. I wouldn't mind hearing the rest. An event has been added to Eclipse. Oh boy. I might go see what that is. Maybe. Maybe after finishing. Oh god. More people in the rear woods. More people in the school. 
I'll go to the school. After finishing lunch, I walk through the school building. Even though it's a holiday, I can see people around here and there. It's probably the students who are working hard at their club activities. I'm sure the building where the music and art rooms are is even more crowded. For some reason, I turn around. Nothing in particular stands out. Mm -hmm. The only odd part is the fact that I have no reason to look behind me. I suddenly get an urge to drink some tea and head towards the student council room. I peer into the classrooms from the hall, and just as I thought, I can see several students in uh, inside. The hallway isn't exactly quiet, but behind me it's silent, even though I can hear people's voices from in front of me as I walk ahead. When I turn around, the hallway behind me is completely silent like some place altogether. There's nothing in particular that stands out. There's no reason for me to turn around. I'd understand if there was a reason for me to look behind. It felt like a chill, but just looking back for no particular reason makes me feel uneasy. Those sto stories are getting popular lately. I can see this becoming one. Story about having an urge to turn around when there's nothing, no reason to. This seems familiar. Did I accidentally pick the wrong one? Entrance exams are closing in, and a lot of students are becoming overly sensitive under the stress. These past four days, I've had a lot to think about. So I may just be worn out without realizing it. Soon council room can wait for another time. I walk down the hall, controlling the frequent urge to look back at uh, I leave the school. 